today I'll be showing you how to sculpt the most detailed rocks in Blender like this one here for your realistic scenes, a quick and easy guide. So without further ado, let's get into it. So yeah, to create this pillar you need the default cube, press G and then Z to move it up. Then go into tab, press face select, press G and then Z to move it downwards. Then press I and then press E and then press I and then press E. And then now you have your little pillar thing and now you also want to press E and then S. And then E, then E and then S. Like so and then just extrude like that. Now you have this little pillar thing, I don't know what it's called. But yeah, this we just need any kind of object to do this sculpting anyway. So now let's go into sculpting tab. And uh, what the first settings you want to apply is go in mod modifiers, add a subdivision surface modifier, change it to simple, change the levels, uh, these two tabs here to six, then apply that, and then go in back into uh, this tab here, and then uh, turn on tick dynamic topology, topology, which is this tab right here, just tick that. And then what you want to do is press, uh, click on fall off tab, change this move to constant. Now that should be all of your settings fixed and ready to go. Now what you want to do is start sculpting the actual model. So what we want to do is press on the scrape tool, increase strength to one, uh, F, press F to decrease or increase, increase si uh, size of brush. And now just go over every little corner of this um, model, like so. As you can see, I'm just going over every little corner just to add some imperfections. Uh, just do this all over the corners just to make it look seem more realistic and w worn down, like so. Like so. Now, what we want to do is pre uh, click on the draw sharp tool, increase the strength to one, and we just want to, um, let's see, just want to go over, we just want to start creating lines like this straight lines like this, just adding some cracks and detail to the actual model. Like so, as you can see here, I'm just doing some little cracks and stuff into the rock to make it seem more realistic and nice. So yeah, I'm just going to time lapse that. Just keep doing this. Now, as you can see, I've added lots of detail to the bottom half of this pillar compared to the top. Massive difference. But all I did was I went in with this draw sharp tool, increased the strength to one radius eight. And I just went over like this, creating little lines like that. And it's, it's as simple as that, literally. Nothing uh, too crazy. And yeah. And just repeat that for the top half as well. As you can see here, there's no like real, um, there's no real like design pattern or plan I'm going for. I'm just adding like lines wherever I go. It doesn't really matter where I add it. I'm just adding it. But don't make it seem unrealistic. Just add it where it looks pretty good, I guess. But yeah, you can probably imagine that's added way more detail than we want expected to the bottom and top half of the whole cube. Now we just have the middle pillar left. And normally what I do with the middle pillar is I use the scrape tool, increase the strength to one. Just go over these little sharp edges, but increase the radius to 11 and do it. And just, just go over any hard edges that look too um, unrealistic, I guess. We want to also add these lines to the middle of the pillar if you want. Uh, just make sure your radius is eight. Um, just yeah, just carry on the pattern, I guess, but don't add too much. And you can also use the flatten tool to just 
uh, create more depth into these uh, little um, sharp edges like that that just looks like a massive cut into the whole pillar but yeah I think that's it for creating this realistic stone pillar obviously you can add way more detail you can use way more uh, of these brushes like I think the clay strip uh, I don't I think yeah it just adds like massive destruction to the whole thing so don't maybe not use that brush but yeah just experiment with what brush looks good um yeah i think those are the brushes i normally use for these for sculpting like uh really good detail into rocks and stuff and yeah uh now i think this is how it looks in the viewport shader uh let's see how it looks in the render engine of cycles yeah it looks pretty good it looks pretty detailed uh probably add some more light to each side yeah that looks pretty nice now you can also add your textures i normally get my textures from um, ambient cg but i've got this little add-on i have here that gives me free textures as well that i use whenever i need to but when whenever you do add a texture it's going to come up like this so press tab press u press smart uv project and then press ok and then tab out of that and now it should um proportion your texture so it looks like this and it won't look how it looked before and also probably want to press yeah i think i think that looks that looks actually really nice for the pillar but now you can so when you're creating this kind type of pillar you can also stack this pillar like so as you can see it's very stackable as well so if you are creating like a castle kind of scene you can stack these and you can create a whole scene out of them, basically. But yeah. That is it for the tutorial. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please like and subscribe. Peace out.